Hello guys, we are at the Santelmo Fair. It's a Sunday afternoon, it's perfect weather, like 85 degrees. So it's finally cooled down after like every day of 90 plus degree weather. And we just made it to the beginning of the fair. We're gonna make it down this few streets here and then also head to the market. So we can check out and see what some of these shops have to sell. See if there's anything worth picking up. It's crowded, so they have this market every single Sunday. And I wanted to make sure that we check it out on a Sunday, especially since some weekends we won't be here because we're traveling to other places or other cities. So we have a free weekend today. After this, we're going to a River Plate game. It's like 7.30, so I'm excited about that as well. But yeah, let's check it out. We have some mate cups. Still haven't had a chance to try that, so I'm not sure if we're going to like it, but I, I would like to do like a nice uh, mate tour so we can properly know like how to prepare it, to drink it, the different types, all that type of stuff. One thing about this city is one of the oldest cities in Buenos Aires. And you can see like from the cobblestone streets, it's very difficult to push a stroller, so I have them walking on the sidewalk. It's a little bit better until we get up to here anyway. But there's one thing to note, if you do have a stroller or a wheelchair or something, it is difficult to navigate. Okay, so we just detoured from the fair. It's actually a lot bigger and longer than I thought it was going to be. It's probably about a mile long or so. Um, we had a couple more blocks left that kind of leads you right into the uh, pink house, Casa de Rosado. Uh, but we wanted to go to the market and eat some food first. So we're going to head back because we actually passed it. And I didn't see it because I guess there's so many shops and things that's in the way kind of blocked our view. So we're going to actually walk back towards um, the market, we're going to take a different block so that it's not as crowded. But as you can see, there's a lot of vendors selling, you know, various items, toys, leather goods, incense, um, clothes, anything you can think of. And like I said, it's every single Sunday. I'm not sure the times exactly, but it's pretty famous. But we wanted to go to um, a chori pond place that's inside the San Thelmo Market. And there's another really good paraia or parisha, as they call it here in Argentina, that's really good too, but we probably won't, you know, get a chance to do both places. And it's also like a really good steakhouse that's like near here. I think it's like it's number two in Buenos Aires after, uh, it's not Don Mario's. Uh, let me see, I can't think of the name of it. Don Mario's is the one that's in Mendoza, but Don Julio's which is number one, which is impossible to get reservations for even three months out. I was trying to book something for lunch, for dinner, even during a week, almost impossible. 
um, or is impossible, I should say. You can get like on a waiting list, but you know, I don't know. I'm not even sure if it's really worth it or not. But yeah, we're gonna head back and get some food and maybe we'll walk back this way and then we'll get a chance to get a video of the, the pink house. And I think there's one more site that's very close to here as well, next to the Casa Rosada. And that's the Plaza de Mayo. So you are probably head to see those two things on the way back. And then from there, probably head back home, get some rest for the River Play game we have later on today. So yeah, we're headed back to the market. And we'll uh, check that out as soon as we get there. Just ran into this cool picture of Messi right across the street from the market. So I just put Olivia and Jen upstairs and we're going to check out some of these restaurants and stuff they have here. It's going to be uh, very hard to choose, but I have my heart set on a particular place, so we're going to check that out. You can see like they're cooking some food and meat back there. Jen, he's tired. <laughs> He'll wake up as soon as he's as soon as he has, uh, as soon as he sees us eating, or feel that we're eating, he's gonna wake up out of nowhere and demand some food. But yeah, let's check out this place. So this is here the place I wanted to go to for um, places on my list here. I think. So we're gonna wait for them to call us. Uh, hopefully it won't take too long, but yeah, I'm excited to try this. I've seen it on a few different YouTube vlogs. The place looks really good. Alright, so we're ready to dig in here. And this guy just woke up. As soon as he, I told you, as soon as we get the food, he will wake up. And he did. So yeah, we're gonna try this out, let you know how it is. Not for you, baby Jen. Let's taste this sangria, see how it is. It's pretty good. They had two different types, like a natural one and like a more sweeter one. I think this one's better, I'm gonna try. We just left the market and we're going to head to grab some juice at a place that we walked past earlier and then head to the uh, Casa Rosada and another place that's nearby and then from there head back home and take a rest before the game. So yeah, let's check it out. It's like a 15 minute walk or so. All right guys, we made it to Plaza Mayo. Beautiful architecture here. You can see where people can easily mistake in Argentina for Paris. And you can see the, the French influence right here. 
Just a couple buildings here to the right. And even this cafe, Pertuti, is very French style with the tables outside. People are drinking cafes, smoking cigarettes. It was very much like Paris. So we're here at the square. And then right across here, we have the Casa Rosado, which is where the president sits. He doesn't live there like the White House in America. But I guess it's where he can conduct business, meetings, and stuff like that. But it's pretty cool. All right, let's get a closer look here of the pink house. It's cool that you can get like a lot closer to this than you can to the White House because the White House has the huge lawn, has the gate. You can't really get too close up to it to get like a good photo. But up here and here you can get it right up to the front door almost. Yeah, I'm not sure like how often the president comes here, but it seems like uh, definitely no one's here today, but it is a Sunday, of course. Alright guys, so we made the 15 minute walk to the Obelisk. So it's pretty much a straight shot down the street here where the Plaza de Mayo is. So pretty easy. And there's a subway that can take you here, but they're doing renovations on it right now under construction for modernization. So only option is you can walk or you can also take a, a bus. But the bus is like, you said like 10 minutes. So we figured we just walk. It's only an extra five minutes to get to here. It is nice out. But yeah, check out the scenery. So yeah, this has only been like, what, day five for us or something like that, four or five, can't remember. And uh, we're definitely enjoying Buenos Aires. Like this is definitely a city I can see myself living in long term. And I was, um, wasn't sure what to think. Like, I figured I definitely would like it. But sometimes when you put too much hope into something, you don't necessarily get what you expect. So I definitely feel like it met and exceeded my expectations. And after coming from Mendoza, because we love Mendoza so much, I kind of wanted to stay there a little bit longer because it was just more chill and quiet. And even the people from Buenos Aires say that the people in Mendoza are a lot nicer. And it's like, it's, it's almost like a Disney you know, like a Disney movie or something like that, or going to Disneyland, uh, how nice the people are. And it's, and it's really comforting, especially as a foreigner, not knowing what to expect. Um, and there's not many people who look like me or like my wife, so you, you never really know what you're gonna get, but people there are very welcome and very warm. And I can say the same thing about this city as well. Very much the same. Um, yeah, we, we definitely love it here. So I'm glad that we chose to spend three months in Buenos Aires. So yeah, we had the BA sign here in the back. Here we can catch it from the other side so we can see it the right way. There's probably a line of people trying to take pictures, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, really nice. And I heard it's like really beautiful at nighttime. One of the guys at the restaurant recommended to go to see it at night. Now we're gonna walk up to see the BA sign here. Oh yeah, I can see the line. Tons of people here trying to get the picture in front of the BA. There's the wife, Olivia. But let's check it out from the other side anyway. And 
here it is. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for today. We're going to hop in an Uber and go home. I have to meet this guy to pick up these tickets for this football match for River Plate so we can get ready for the game tonight. So we're going to, we're going to film that as well. So that'll be in a separate video. But yeah, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, we have a lot of great content coming while we're in Argentina. I'm working during the week, but during the weekend, uh, I'm free to kind of go out and explore the city. And in a couple of weeks, we'll be in Uruguay for the weekend as well. So that'll be fun. So yeah, definitely tune in and subscribe. Talk to you guys later.